Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 5th, but the timing is fluid, you know? Typically, these uh, daily vibes tend to resonate up to a week later. Um, so, yeah, or if they come up in your lineup, you say one was done, like, months ago, and it comes up in your lineup, it might be for you at this time. Uh, you may hear some pounding outside there working on the addition today, so please forgive that if you hear it. Uh, so let's get started. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I need to deliver today? For the upcoming days. What do we have? Hangman reversed. The hangman reversed. Refusing to go in and struggling to let go. We have somebody here that is obsessed with control. They are hiding something. This person is hiding something. Missing an opportunity. It's very, very stubborn. Um, fighting change. So this guy is fighting change. Uh, refusing to look at things from a new perspective. Oh, but we do have a fresh start, okay? Starting from zero, starting over. Now, the, this, we could, this person may be deciding. Maybe, maybe they are deciding. Maybe they are deciding that it's time to go someplace else. This guy has been very, guy or girl, has been very, very, very stubborn. Ooh, Page of Cups. Now, Page of Cups is a welcome opportunity for love or a message of love. Now, this is brand new, a brand new opportunity for love. We have a brand new opportunity for love here. This, But this is somebody who's been struggling. This person has been struggling, but maybe they, uh, they're they ready. It looks like somebody is ready. They're ready for a new start. They're ready for a new beginning. They're ready for some emotional support or maybe they have some sort of secret admirer or in, they have a crush or something like that. The hangman reverse though is somebody that is usually refusing. I'm not going to think of, I will I, I won't even consider it. Somebody that won't even consider something. <laughs> but they somebody sees a new opportunity, okay? Because this is definitely we have a new opportunity here. It's like there's, they've been missing an opportunity. This is a missed opportunity, but now they see an opportunity. So we have somebody that has been struggling to let go of something, but now they got that they see something, and this is exciting. This is an uh, exciting opportunity. This is seizing a new opportunity for love, taking it, taking it where it was missed in the past, or they something like that. Okay, so somebody has a new opportunity. It's like right in front of them. This is exciting. I want it. I want it. I'm sick of missing out. I'm sick of waiting. I'm sick of wasting my time. I'm sick of I'm sick of sacrificing my life for nothing. So I think we have somebody here that is stepping into new territory. They're they're they've been stagnant. They've been wasting time, uh, maybe thinking too much or sacrificing themselves for something else. Because this is a sacrifice. It's a big sacrifice. But this is sacrifice because of stubbornness. Okay. But now, I mean, there's definitely an opportunity for love here. Maybe they've been love struck or they got this new crush or they got this new opportunity. Um, that is a reawakening feelings, right? It's like, like, I really want this opportunity. This is exciting. So there is an exciting opportunity here. Um, I want it. I want it. So I do feel like we have somebody who's about to take a risk. They are about to take a big risk. It is risky. But this is such an opportunity for love, okay? These are both opportunities for love. So I think there's going to be an expression as well. It's like their heart. Somebody's heart is telling them to take this risk. Probably going to have to give something up, though. This is giving up something. And this is somebody who is very stubborn, having a hard time giving up something. And this is letting something go. So we definitely have an individual here that has to let something go. 
Maybe something that they are obsessed with or they are addicted to or something like that. Remember I said hiding something. Somebody has absolutely been hiding something. They've been hiding their true feelings. Because this is feelings. They are about to take a risk. This is definitely risky business. It is. There's been, uh, they may have been in a one-sided situation. They were trying to prove a point. They got themselves involved with something where there was a lack of reciprocation or something like that. All is not as it seems. Somebody was, uh, there's, a, there's a shadow. This is ruled by the shadow. Somebody was presenting themselves to be somebody that they are not. Now this, the six of pentacles reversed is um, a fraud. And we, so it's like we have a fraud here, somebody that is fraudulent. They've been living some sort of lie by the looks of things. This is somebody who is very, very, very egotistical. This is a ego, the hangman reverse is somebody that is very egotistical. Hmm. Hiding their true feelings. So we got somebody here been try hiding their true feelings. There's been some sort of abuse of, of power or there's been an injustice. We have somebody here that is very greedy. Greedy. But now this greedy person may have experienced a loss or something like that. Or life has become unbalanced, crazy. Things have gotten crazy. Knight of Cups and the Five of Swords reversed. Now this is making a move, extending emotions, expressing feelings, wanting a relationship. But the Five of Swords reversed is... Um, now I don't know if somebody has exposed something. This is exposing crime or... You know, there's been a very volatile situation. Somebody may be humiliated. They pushed somebody away. They betrayed somebody. And there could be some humiliation here. There probably is. Uh, now, I wonder if... And now, i got to be honest with you. This guy's got his hands behind his back. Uh, hasn't learned a lesson and this could be an arrest so I'm wondering if somebody may, could get arrested I'm not I mean this is a completely different message but that's what just came to me when I was I was looking at this card and then I don't know somebody could end up in handcuffs I'm just saying um, now this is uh, the six of pentacles is a rejection of some sort and things are crazy be careful something crazy could happen now, I'm not sure if there's drugs or addictions here. There could be. There could be some addictions some uh, that cause somebody to get arrested. Okay, just, I'm just being honest with you. Okay, somebody could end up getting arrested. Do you see the hands behind their back? Somebody could end up being arrested. <coughs> Risky business. So uh, somebody may take a risk that gets them in trouble. I just got to be honest with you. That just crossed my mind. So somebody may end up, you know, with some handcuffs on. Um, I mean, and it's alcohol or drug related, just saying, um, the six of pentacles reversed is, is, uh, an injustice, a theft or something, or an abuse, abuse of power, um, something is going on, be careful. Be really, really careful. Something is not as it seems. Huh. Somebody is hiding their feelings. They're hiding their feelings in drugs or alcohol or something like that. And there's there's been some sort of betrayal. And they maybe do something crazy, you know, because it's like combust. Interesting. Now, five of swords reversed, there's been some sort of betrayal, a big time, big betrayal here. Um, moving on.
leaving something behind. But this person, somebody may be wanting to come back because the five of that they, it's like almost like go changing the story again. This is like some, somebody that was hurt, that hurt another person. Maybe, maybe, uh, wanting to bring peace. Cause this could be peace. Peace is on the other side. This is, could be peace talk. Somebody may be wanting to call a truce or bring peace to a situation. Something about peace. Maybe, because this could be a peace offering. It could be a peace office offering. So that's changing for somebody. Somebody could get like a peace offering. Somebody abused, somebody neglected, somebody didn't put in effort. Uh, they used, they used another person. This is used. Mm -hmm. Now, but this is wanting a relationship with somebody. It feels like somebody wants to have a, some sort of relationship or they want peace. Because this is peace and this is peace. In reverse, this is peace. Somebody may want peace. Hmm. This is investment. Thinking about, thinking about relocating. Somebody is thinking about moving. Somebody is thinking about moving. Because this is moving and this is moving. Somebody is thinking about moving away from a volatile situation. All is not as it seems. There's some, there, I don't know if there's some abuse here or what. Now this is definitely, it's time, it's over. It's, it's time to uh, go someplace else. And this one is too. Somebody's going to be going someplace else. After it's, they've been in some sort of, uh, well, it looks like it's been a very bad situation. It, it does look like a bad situation. We have the very first card. We have somebody up there who hasn't learned their lesson. They haven't learned their lesson. This person is egotistical and they've been hiding their true feelings. Maybe they're pushing somebody away with the five of swords. Somebody may be pushing somebody away, pushing somebody to move away. This is a dead end. It's time to go someplace else. So somebody may be being pushed out. They may be being pushed out because that is what their heart wants. This person who has been stubborn... Um, maybe see, maybe, maybe seeing the light in a situation, maybe deciding to reject because this is a rejection and pushing somebody away. This is pushing somebody away. This is force as well. So I'm wondering if we have somebody here that is forcing somebody to move, but somebody is being forced to move. Because if you, there's a better opportunity. It's like this person sees a better opportunity and they want it. So that's what I feel like this is. You can't have both. It's one or the other. So I think we have somebody here that has uh, made up their mind. I think this guy has been thinking, 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 thinking. And he's made up his mind. It's time for you to go. It is. It's time for you to go. I want a relationship that is based on love. Not, not anything but secrets, lies, money, whatever. So I think we do have somebody here that uh, was hiding their true feelings. And the, now they're pushing somebody away. They're pushing somebody away. It's like you got to go someplace else. It's time for you to go. I see that. And, and, and it's not like they see they say this to this person. But the reason that they're doing it is because they see another opportunity that is more... It's what they want, put it that way. It's what they want. So they see this other opportunity that they want and they can't go get it until this person moves. So I think we do have somebody that is being pushed out. I think we have somebody that is being pushed away because the the person that has been stalling and sacrificing themselves for this uh, fraudulent connection um, now sees an opportunity for love that they want. You know, I want that and I'm not going to pretend. That's what it feels like. They've been pretending. They've been pretending that, you know, they wanted to be in that relationship. But I don't think they do. Yeah, they didn't want to be alone. We have somebody here that didn't want to be alone. And they've been going through some sort of midlife crisis. 
And I feel like now they're ready. Now they're ready. Now they see. There's definitely some enlightenment here. Somebody has been enlightened. Well, there is. Somebody has been enlightened. And I feel like there's been some truth that has been hidden that is going to be spoken. It is definitely going to be spoken. It's like all of a sudden this person just... It's not all of a sudden because this person has obviously been thinking about it for a while. I think they've been thinking about it for a good long time. And I think now the time has come where it's just like, you know, that this is not what my heart wants. So you have to go. That's what I feel like this is. Or I have to go. Yeah, this guy knows what he wants and he's about to do it. Okay, he's going to do it. He is going to... And it's not easy. It's not easy. Um, I, feel, I feel like we, we have somebody here that has, has definitely made up their mind. He's done his investigation. He knows what he has to do. And it has to do with following... The truth, uh, stating the facts, um, doing the right thing, acting with integrity. I do feel like he is, he's made up his mind. His mind is made up that, you know, it, there's no more growth here. There's no reason for you to stay here. You gotta go. So it's, that's what I got. It's, you, it, you gotta go someplace else. Um... And it's, and it's about, you know, I just don't have feelings for you. That's what it is. I don't have any feelings for you. I don't, I'm sorry, but I don't have any feelings for you. That's what I hear. So I feel like this other person, you know, has to, is going to be moving. Somebody is moving. Um, because it's all about happiness. It's all about commitment. Some, and I want, if somebody wants it all, they want to have it all. They want to, uh. They want the perfect match. That's what they want. They want the perfect match. And it feels like this person sees an opportunity. They see an opportunity for alignment. They see an opportunity for real love, right? We have two doves there. They do. So I feel like I feel like uh There is somebody that is moving because they're being told that they have to. It's like the decision has been made. You have to go. You have to go because I see something. They don't say it. I don't think they say that I see something else. I don't know what they say. Something about it's not fair. It's not fair to to you. It's not fair. You know, it's not fair. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to me. It's not fair to either of us if this isn't love because it's not love. It's not love. So something along those lines. Um, feels like this person has been waiting. The person that they have their eye on has been waiting, has been waiting for a commitment, has been waiting. And now it's coming. It is coming. So we do have a relationship, you know, an offer that is coming for this person that has been waiting. This person has been waiting and here it comes with that knight of uh, cups. We do have a relationship that is coming and it could lead to marriage. I mean, it could lead to a commitment. But like I said, there's something that has to go first. I'm telling you what, right here in the middle, the six of pentacles reverse, something has to go. It's like you can't have both. And this is the, the, the decision being made. So I think we do have somebody here that that uh, has made a decision that they want to be committed to somebody else. And that the only way that they can be committed or be in a relationship with this person is to let go of the one that they don't have feelings for. But they've been staying with this person because they don't want to be alone. But we do have somebody that is moving towards a happy relationship once they face their fears. Because this is fears and tell the truth to the person that they have been giving their time and energy to that they don't love. Oh my God, what a freaking mess. Anyhow, we have this... Uh, individual who has been thinking 
thinking, 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 thinking. He's been thinking, okay? He's been thinking about rejection. He's been thinking about what he wants. He's been thinking about uh, taking a risk, and I think that he is about to do so. I think that he is going to um, come out of hiding. He's been hiding his true feelings. He's about to um, speak up. He's about to speak up and... Uh, shed some light to whoever it is that uh, is time to go. He's, I think he is. I think he's going to be like, you know what? I can't. I, it's time. We're going to have this talk. Yeah, we're going to have this talk, and it's time for you to uh, find some place to go. You got to move. I do see a new beginning here. There is definitely a new beginning here, an opportunity to start fresh. We have this individual who is interested in somebody else. And they know that they can't have that somebody else until the other person is gone. So that's what I got. Good luck. There's going to be a talk. It's time to find another place to live. Good luck.